Alright guys, Danny from Glorious Fishing. It's currently Tuesday afternoon and we're going out on the boat for a couple of hours guys. Now I'm going to head to the Great Bank. We're going to start off there, try for some, try, see if we can get a bit of bait, mackerel and sand eels and then we're going to go for a few turbots. If not, we'll put the lure on and we'll go and go for a few pollock guys on the south coast. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm not going to muck around, I'm going to get down there, get the boat cover off and then we can get down there quick as possible guys while the sunlight's there. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, make sure you hit that subs subscribe button, guys. And uh, yeah, let's go do this. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. So guys, we've arrived up St. Martin's Point, the Great Bank. This is where I had the whiting on the last trip. There's only one other boat there. There's a uh, cargo boat going over there. I don't know if you can see that in the distance. Sark in the background, Herm and Jetu. And yeah, I'm going to get the feathers down, guys. And hopefully we can get a few mackerel and uh, get a turbot rod down. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So these are the feathers I'm going to be using. Big shout out to Andy Lowe. He personally hand makes these for me, so... Thanks very much for that, Andy. It's really appreciated. The Kraken feathers. So uh, let's get them down, guys. Let's see if we can get you a few fish. Let's get to it. So, guys, I'm sending the feathers down. There's loads of markings, but I don't know if they're mackerel or sand eels. So we're about to find out. But there's loads of markings. Add something on, then. Thought we hit into some sand eels, then. Probably sand eels on the sounder. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back over that head where those uh, markings were. I definitely got hit on the way down, so we're gonna go back there. So guys, managed to get a sand eel. We're gonna get a turbot rod down in a minute. Just gonna see if we can get a few more. So guys, I got the turbot rod down. I thought I was just having a couple of bites then. We got the live eel on it, and we're just coming up to the where the sand eels are gonna be and the mackerel. So I'm hoping a bit of feathering, we can get some guys. I'm sure that had a bite. I've got something on here, sand eels, I think. Let's get them aboard quick. I don't know if that's a bite or whether that's the weight. Another sand eel there, guys. Beautiful green sand eel. Get him off the hook. Get straight back down there because there could be more. There's still loads of markings, so. I'm going to give it a bit of line. Just to see, guys. I think it's just it going along the bottom, guys. Anyway, we'll leave that out. We'll continue feathering. I'll bring you back if we get something. I'm sure I was getting a few bites, guys. No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, well, we're going to go back up for another drift, guys. We'll get both rods out this time. Come on guys, just got nailed by a mackerel. Right, I need to get straight back down because there's loads more there. Well, there's some marking, so see if we can get a few more. No, I didn't get hit then. So we've got both rods out, open for a turbot. 
hopefully one of these starts slamming over soon. Oh, at least we got one little mackerel for bait, guys. That's, that's all what matters, is that we got a bit of bait. Otherwise, we can't fish. That's a lovely little mackerel. Prime fillets. Prime fillets for the turbot, anyway. We're going to struggle here, I reckon. You never know, guys. Anyway, I'll bring you back if we get some more fish. So guys, we had a few sand deals earlier, but the flipping camera cut out the battery. So, we're up for another drift. I don't know how long we're going to be out here for now, but... We're just coming over the head now. I'm just looking for some uh, sand eels. Oh, there we are. Got something on. Oh, it's come off. Definitely had something on then. I think it was a sand eel. Yeah, fish on. Probably sand eels, guys, but... Well, to be fair, I probably don't need them now, but... There's probably a bunch of sand eels. Here we are. Another lovely sand eel there. Just keeping an eye on the rods. If there's sand eels there and I've got my sand eels on the bottom, there's more than likely going to be turbot. Keeping an eye on the rods, making sure one of them don't launch over. This is where the turbot will hide, guys. See, wherever the sand eels are on the top of the bank, bet your bottom dollar there's going to be turbot. That's for sure. That's where they're going to be anyway, because obviously the food's there, so... They're going to go wherever the food is. Oh well, another sand eel. Just need one of these to go over now. Be nice to launch it over. I might actually go and check the lobster pots in a minute, guys. Go and check two of them, the creel pot and the other one. Just to see if we got anything in the smash fishing string or in the other one. Because I put that whiting um, bait in there. So I want to see how that's done. Okay, whether that's pulled in crabs or whether that's uh, pulled in lobsters. But to be fair, we haven't really got a good tide here at the moment. It's neat tide. So, uh, yeah. Rubbish tide. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get you a few fish. If not, we'll be making our way to the lobster pots, guys. So guys, unfortunately we didn't get no more. So we're gonna start making our way to the bream grounds. We're gonna try for a quick couple of bream and then we might do the lobster pot, guys. It's definitely gonna be dark by the time we get back in. Start making our way to the bream. Hopefully we get some. Guys, we've arrived at the mark. I'm gonna get the feathers down. We baited them up with some mackerel, so uh, hopefully we can get a few bream. If not, it doesn't matter. I just came up here for a little stop off. Like I said, we'll give the pots a little pull after. And uh, yeah, we'll just do two of the strings. I'm not gonna bother pulling that yellow one that we never get anything in. So I'll just pull the two nearest on the way in, and hopefully we'll get you a little bit more content, guys. Whether it's uh, whatever. Whether it's lobsters, spider crabs, brown edible crabs, could be bullos, could be, you never know. So, hopefully there's a few bream. I haven't seen no markings on the sounder yet though, to be honest. Well, that's not normally a good sign if there's no markings on the sounder, especially here. Anyway, I'll bring you back if we get some bream. So guys, I've been fishing now for about 15 minutes for bream and we haven't even had a bite, not even one bite. So I'm going to make my way to the lobster pots now. In fact, I'm going to switch that deck light on. There we are. We've got a bit of light now, guys. Let's go to these lobster pots. Hopefully you've got a few lobsters on this 48 hour soak.
We've got his first pot. Well, all the pots, they're just full of brown edible crabs. We've got a nice one here, but... Oh no, that's a nice crab. That's not a bad one. That's a lovely crab, that. That's a nice crab. The alarm's telling me we're shallow, I know that. But yeah, that's a lovely crab. Look at him go. That's a beauty. That's a lovely crab. Looks a bit soft, I'll have to check that in a bit. You can always tell by the underside, but I think it feels quite heavy, so I can't see it being soft. Lovely crab. Keep that to the side. And then, yeah, just a load of brown edibles, guys. No good. Even hanging on the side, look. So that was no good where I dropped the pot. There's another one, look, see? Second pot, brown edible crabs again, guys. Absolutely loads of them. And in the third pot, it's brown edible crab city. So I'm not gonna waste my time showing you any more, guys. I'm gonna empty these, we'll play it back out. We'll get to the second set. Hopefully you get a lobster. to that last set. So guys, this is my creel strings. I'll just stop that. Yeah, this is my creel strings, guys. And um, this is the one with the whiting in. So hopefully lobsters like whiting, but you never know. You never know. I dropped this right down the side of the ledge as well, so I'm hoping we've done all right. Or is it on flat ground? That is poor. That's very poor, guys. Two brown over crabs. That's really poor. Can't see this one being any better either then. But you never know. That Larry Lobster or that crayfish could have just been walking next to it. Guys, that's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. We went out turbot fishing and mackerel fishing, and guess what? We have one mackerel. So, all in all, it weren't a good session, guys. But we did the crab pots and we got ground two lovely brown edible crabs there. So, I'm going to drop them off to her on the way home, and she'll be more than happy with them, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's all. Not much more to say than that, other than it's been a rubbish day, but at least we managed to get out, guys. So, uh, We'll be going live on Saturday, so that's in four days time guys, so make sure you tune in for that, it's the live giveaway. I hope to see you all there, I'm a bit nervous going live because I haven't been live for ages, but 
I'm sure I'll be all right. So uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It's in glorious fishing. Thanks for watching. So guys, just got back down to the van and we have a surprise guest with us. It's Paul the Long Nose Catcher, baby. Check this out. He just came to my van and look at those what he's had. He's had 16 long nose, so he's been kind enough to donate those to me for the Turbo Werbos. So that's absolutely fantastic. We've got a load of bait now, guys. So big shout out to Paul. He's the legend, baby. Getting me the long nose. Anyway, guys, we'll see you on the next video. It's in glorious fishing. Turbo Werbos.